Hello, I'm Mary Lou. I am Jacob. And this is a look at what our bus looked like when we first purchased it before we started renovation. Yeah. Prancing Pony. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Babies. babies. Oh, sorry, bosses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. Oh man, we went a little. We went a little too hard on demo. I wish we hadn't taken out those, uh, what do they call them? The ring clamp things on the windows? I think they're called beauty clamps beauty or clamps? something uh, oh, man, I, unexpected too. like that. Yeah, rust, mold, windows we couldn't replace. Yeah. This part took, so this, this footage is actually from one day um, because as soon as we got these wall panels completely off, we were like, wow, <laughs> that might be black mold. <laughs> We need to stop. Yeah, oh yeah, look, you can see us taking the frames off. I'm pretty sure that was my idea, to not keep them, so... Oops, don't yeah. do that. Oh yeah, and then I saw this and I was like, I think we need to leave immediately. Yeah. I'm glad we were wearing masks. So, so we did this, Yeah. so that's fun. Did you know that's, that's how you remove spray foam? Uh, With a crowbar and a mallet. <laughs> there's no, like... I don't know, maybe, maybe if you do it professionally, you have a tool for it. That's the best I could find. Well, it's, it's, such, like a, a, it's such a new technology. Spray foam is not meant sander. to be removed. Yeah. But yeah, with the power sander with like a really thick, thick brush on the end of like the angle grinder. So that's funny because that first bit of footage was all one day and then that quick bit of footage of scraping oh off my the god it spray took foam i think is, it took two months for like, us to get all the mold out of there yeah, that we had the right. mold sent to a lab we treated it it was not black mold but it was just mold well, that just was dirt, black so. yeah no that that's just my hands black because it's there. dirty oh this was awful that's my butt um yeah that air conditioning unit in the back lying in the back there um so we had to take that apart and cut the tubes and get all the coolant out and the fan that you just saw is outside yeah gosh that was a big job taken down too but hey look we're putting things in i was really excited to stop taking things out and to start freaking putting things in yeah. because we did a lot we didn't film a lot of one part but we took out a lot of excess electrical wiring in oh the bus God. um that we didn't need anymore so yeah. that was really scary because we didn't know anything about the buses oh. so to be able to do something like this yeah look we're cutting wood we're putting things together it's like this is where we wanted to <laughs> yeah. start <laughs> oh also uh we use havelock wool not sponsored but hey havelock wool come at us because we have some dare i say genius ideas mm -hmm. look at that it's a pillow yeah I love it. Yeah, we love our Havelock wool. Absolutely no regrets. Doing the subfloor sandwich, if you will, worked out absolutely brilliantly. It did, it really did. This piece sucked to put in. <laughs> we should have started from the back. But yeah, yeah, so this is us. We put bracing up here on the ceiling, and this was my absolutely genius idea, if I do say so myself, yeah. of putting our wool in the ceiling. This is a soccer net that is all weather resistant, will not mold, will not anything helped with getting the, the panels up there. Well, yeah, because like place. anyone who's done a project like this knows that working overhead is so hard. It's, it's so tiring. I don't know what you're talking about. My it was arm, the easiest oh thing in the God. universe. My armpit muscles like ache just remembering it. If I could, oh. if I could put insulation on ceilings every day for the rest of my life, I'd be so happy. <laughs> it's so much fun. Oh, you're such a liar. Look at that, we're putting a hole in it! I know. Ah. Jacob built that frame yeah. for the fan to sit in. That was the first hole I think we put in the bus. Well, yeah, first significant hole for sure. We've put in so many since then. <laughs> On purpose. Look at that. See oh, the fan. Oh man. Yeah, this is the remote control, can go in, can go out, uh, Max Air fan, so. There's just more strapping. Oh, look at the tape on the ceiling. We were planning on doing a skylight in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Nah, dog. <laughs> have not done a skylight in the bathroom. That's for sure. Although, we know the space is there. So if we yeah, ever decide we want to put a, sh a skylight. Wow, your hair got so long. Yeah, and then it got short. I mean, that's the biggest tell of how much yeah. time is oh, passing. Oh, man. I think 
between the time this video started. Oh yeah, and, there you go. <laughs> and oh yeah, it's short again. And like getting the ceiling in was what six months. Yeah, probably. Yeah, just more, more we wanted that, to be really, really thorough when we were handling the not black mold, but still not good mold. Um, oh, this is really satisfying. Oh yeah. Just watching a big piece of wood be chopped down into. Oh, this is strips. ripping down for our strapping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this was the cheapest table saw we could find online, but it did the job. Yeah. Not, like, the best, but it did it. Also, invest in knee pads. I saw your knee pads, and I was like, <laughs> you know, we best learned that ever. lesson the hard way. <laughs> oh, man. So much strapping. Oh, man. But we planned everything out ahead of time. We were like, okay... Like this piece of strapping here, we're like, okay, we're gonna have the plywood go up to this line because mm. we have to deal with like the diagonals and the curves and right. stuff. So there was a lot of planning that went into this. Totally. Especially yeah. this too, because you can see like we blocked out one window entirely. That's now our bathroom window. Because yeah. I was like, I don't need a giant window. And we knew where we wanted the counter and the window sills so we, we blacked out up to there on the rest of the windows totally oh i forgot we painted the ceiling like way before we even had the walls up yeah i was just excited to paint something yeah, well, <laughs> it took us so long to get wow, to that point, those but... fairy lights what a vibe Ooh, so boxes oh, yes this is the first wheel well cover yeah. i remade this out of nicer wood actually because this is out of leftover pine for the subfloor. You can see it has the mold resistant paint on it. Yeah, this is, I guess, like the tester. Yeah, I rebuilt this box out of beautiful half-inch birch ply. That still looks nice. Yeah, I mean, and also, you know, you make a lot of boxes when yeah. you're working on something like this, so... This is it, generally what we ended up with. Though. Yeah, I... The one I made for... What do you... Mr. Mary! Sorry, our, we're in our bus right now, and our cat is using the litter box and it's not very big no yeah it's a, oh it's man tiny. oh are those yo okay so i had bought the covers this right here is like a seam cover for the ceiling panels uh we put these in a year and a half after i stained those i think yeah because i didn't want to put them in until a bajillion other things were done, so we knew how long they needed to be. Not sponsored by Rubio Monocoat, but that's that stain held up while we didn't put it up for a year and a half. So. Oh yeah, well it not only held up, but like we had to carry it around with us, and it definitely <laughs> yeah. spent some time outside. Like we were as nice to our wood as we could be, but yeah. And then floor. Yeah. Yay! Thanks for watching, friends. Yeah. Subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye. You want to say bye? Oh, bye.